It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us from Swamico. Good morning, Neil. Hey, good morning. Although it's a little cool out, it's a really a good day for a swim if you're a river otter. Oh, yeah. Of course, they're going through their yes, they're going through their normal routine. You know, once they they're fed in the morning and they're checked out, the zookeepers check them out. Uh, then they open their dens, and uh, what they'll end up doing, they'll come around. It. Usually, what they do is they'll check each other's den out. After that, you know, see if somebody got something that the other one didn't get. Yeah, that's kind of how that works. So then they come out and then they they swim around and and they'll be active for a couple hours. And then by midday, you know what they do is they'll sleep a little bit. They sleep uh, in that right log, now. that hollowed out log. Yep, here's where that hollow log is. As you can see, what we did is uh, that's an area where we encourage them to go ahead and sleep during the day. And we have it tilted so that the visitors, if you come by, sometimes you look out an exhibit and, and you don't see them like they're not on exhibit, but actually take a little bit uh, look and they're probably sleeping right in there. And that's normal activity for these guys. They're pretty much nocturnal. Um, when they're out on land like that, uh, you know, they, their sense of smell is very similar to a dog. Uh, when they get in, in the water, though, uh, what they do is they've got uh, little valves that actually close their, their nose and their ears when they're swimming. They can stay submerged to about uh, four or five minutes long. They can dive up to about 60 feet. They're real quick underwater, and they use that tail. The end of the tail is flat, and they'll turn that tail a little bit and use that like a rudder, and they can really move around. Now, you see with the guys with whiskers, with these guys, they have uh, whiskers that are very, very sensitive, and that's actually used to, to detect the vibrations. They have a fish is swimming, and the tail, they can feel the vibrations, you know, from the tail in the water. And what happens is, uh, especially in murky conditions, they can go ahead and get their prey that way. So they really uh, rely a lot on their whiskers. And they actually are, are uh, very, um, sh we'll call short-sighted when they get on land. They really can't see that far. Uh, normally, they'll use their eyes if it's real bright out and into the water. They'll use more of the eyesight to catch fish. Otherwise, they're relying a lot on the, on the whisker end of it. And the other thing is, is there's 13 different uh, uh, subspecies of otters, and uh, they're found on every continent except Australia and uh, Antarctica. And you've got uh, real large ones that can get close to 80 pounds uh, down in Brazil, the giant uh, otter, and they actually call them like the river wolf. And they're a pretty good size. But yeah. these guys are about the average size for a river otter, and. They're out taking their morning swim. And they're always so much fun to watch. Thanks, Neil. Sounds good. See you next hour. Thanks. See you next time.